In this video, we'll learn how to combine vector shapes with Pathfinder shape modes in Illustrator. This is a great technique because it allows us to build up complex vector shapes from simpler forms. We can see some examples of those here in the demo file pathfinderdemo.ai from this week's demo files. I've continued doing some more work here on this composition and I've added this layer with a flock of seagulls traced from this reference image. I'll go ahead and toggle off visibility on my reference image and let's zoom in on a couple of these shapes here. So I used a few different techniques while I was tracing these seagulls. Some of them I did a full silhouette completely closed, while others I built up from multiple shapes. Like you can see here, I have this small circular shape and then the wings as two separate objects. I did this in anticipation of maybe needing to change the scale of some of the parts of the seagulls. But when I zoom out and look at the overall composition, I don't think it's really going to matter too much. So I don't think I need quite that much complexity. And I'd probably be better off just having this as one shape rather than two, or in this case, three. So luckily, we can fix that really easily using the Pathfinder panel. And I can bring that up by clicking Window in the menu bar then clicking Pathfinder. Pathfinder is pretty amazing, and it gives us lots of different tools for combining multiple vector shapes in different ways. We'll focus on the shape modes, which are the top row of icons here, but notice we also have a set of Pathfinder tools. So the main difference between the two is that shape modes tend to combine or carve out shapes from one another, while Pathfinders tend to split up shapes into separate pieces. So I'll go ahead and use my selection tool to shift select and get both of these shapes. Now we have four shape mode options for how we'd like these shapes to combine or subtract from one another. We can unite, which makes one single shape around the outline of the selected group. I'll go ahead and click edit undo from the menu bar to backtrack. We could also try minus front. So that subtracts out the shape that is farthest in front in the layer stacking order. So I can see I've carved out that circular shape from the wing shape. Again, I'll click Edit Undo. We could also intersect where we'll keep just the parts of the shapes that overlap with one another. And let's click Edit Undo one more time. And lastly, we can Exclude, which keeps everything except for the parts of the shapes that were overlapping. And in this case, I think Unite makes the most sense, since I really just want this to be one continuous silhouette. So I'll go ahead and click Edit Undo to undo my exclude. Now, one additional option that isn't quite obvious when we're using our shape modes is whether we want the resulting vector shape to be a compound path or a compound shape. And that might sound like a really subtle distinction, but there are some important differences. So with both of those shapes selected, let's go ahead and click on the Unite option again. Now, when we click on any of these shape mode icons, the result will be a compound path. And I can see that in my Layers panel. It's just one object. And sometimes that's exactly what we want, but the downside to a compound path is that they're more difficult to edit. If we backtrack by clicking Edit, Undo one more time, Let's try that Unite operation again, but this time I'll hold Alt or Option on the keyboard. So notice visually the result looks the same, but I get a different result in my Layers panel, where instead of just one compound path, I have a compound shape, which I can expand and still get access to my two original shapes. So I could take that ellipse and maybe scooch it around if I felt like it. So compound shapes are much more fluid and much easier to edit versus a compound path. The other advantage of using a compound shape is I can return the component parts back to individual shapes just by targeting that compound shape in the Layers panel, then from the Stack menu in the upper right corner of the Pathfinder, clicking Release Compound Shape. And I can see in the Layers panel, I have my two original shapes again. Okay, that's an overview of how to combine vector shapes with Pathfinder shape modes in Illustrator.